So up next on the phone line here on the game plan is Ray Edwards. Now Ray is uh, an American Nigerian. He competed for both America, USA, and Nigeria at the highest levels in sport. He's a sprinter and a track coach, and he has a YouTube channel called Ray. Ray's Take. And let me tell you, you got if you're a track fan, you got to tune in to Ray's Take. He drinks a lot of uh, iced tea in the can. Uh, I think he, he, he loves yes, that purple drink. But you know what? Put Ray on the <laughs> phone. Let's hear it straight from the man himself. Ray, good night. What's, what's going on, brother? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Let me tell you, Ray's take is it's like the most honest straightforward guy i don't even think this guy could lie if if he if he if he get busted like by his girlfriend Ray, are you like, like the pope? Um, um let me tell you what happened right <laughs> <laughs> ray are you like the pope you can't lie you know like if you're questioned right so that's ray, so ray okay um what we want to talk to you about is obviously miss shikari i'm ho i'm hoping i'm pronouncing the young woman's name correctly um shikari is the 100 meter 100 meter specialist and who recently got uh busted for a, a cannabis product and has been serving a 30-day ban which will mean she is going to miss the olympics um Correct. there was a period of time where everybody was trying to keep hope alive for her to join the uh relay team the four by 100 women's relay for the usa um but obviously Ray, i think um that was just a, a misplaced hope how did you see that playing off well uh first of all let me just say that i truly appreciate the introduction that you guys gave me and i appreciate being on here to even talk but uh and actually no you did not pronounce her name correctly i i have been schooled a lot on her name by her <laughs> by her parents believe it or not right <laughs> so her name is pronounced she carry she carry not sure okay yeah. she carry. so it's weird because because it looks like the way that it's spelled because car is in it it should be shikari right but it's not it's shikari it's she carry she carry I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I mean, uh, you're yeah, like carrying carry a baby. Richardson. Oh, uh, like, like you, like you're carrying a blunt. Like, <laughs> it's, it's, it's carry. Like she, she meant carry Richardson. She meant she might have carried too many blunts. Now, Ray is <laughs> is well known for his opinion that track and field should just the the, the water and and USADA and yeah. AIU and everybody yeah. should just let go the handbrakes and just let everybody compete and you know just, yeah, just give out before. fines yeah, yeah. Well, well shikari's um situation is it's a little difficult okay so and I, i'll go ahead and explain to you guys like i did on my show um so of course she was she was banned for smoking you know or eating we we don't know exactly if it was right. smoking or eating but she was definitely banned for marijuana right um so so to my knowledge and to what my sources told me, and this was, you know, somebody high up in USA Track and Field, they actually wanted her to run on the relay. Um, what was told to me was that rightfully, by her being one of the fastest women, she wanted anchor leg, and her coach wanted her an anchor leg, which, again, I can understand. Um, but what happened was the USA um, coaches did not want her on anchor leg. They felt like she would be stronger on third leg. Mm. And pretty much um, her and her coach, you know, respectfully, and I'll say this, I'm on their side, believe it or not. You know, respectfully, they said, okay, well, if she can't run anchor, she's not going to run at all. And, you know, Team USA kind of took that like, okay, well, in that case, we can't use you yeah. because we need to use you where we feel that you will be best to help the team out which they felt like it would be, you would help us out more at third leg to neutralize with Shelly Ann right. as opposed to running anchor leg, which makes sense. But they was like, well, you know what? We'll just respectfully sit this one out. So to my understanding from her, from, you know, my sources in her camp, they elected not to do it. It, it had nothing to do with Team USA kicking her off. It had nothing to do with them not, you know, um, allowing her to run. It was told to me that, hey, we want to run anchor. We're more comfortable on anchor. 
if she can't run anchor, we're not going to go. Now, I will say this from me being part of, um, again, you know, Team USA and Team Nigeria, I've, I've been able to see different relay processes. Right. And when it comes to uh, Team USA, they will make you not want to run. <laughs> like, it is so much political nonsense that goes on to where, oh, yeah, I can understand why Dennis is like, no, we're not going to do anything. You T- know, so. Tiana Bartoletta had a. F- what happened? Tiana Bartoletta had quite a few blogs about that as yeah. well, right? Ray, I want to ask yeah. a question here. Chris Gill, my nickname is Guru, but you can call me Guru. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, Shikari Richardson is in the team. Let's talk, talk hypothetics here for right. a second. Let's say she was, right. Uh, do you mm-hmm. think the USA could challenge Jamaica in that 4x1? Hell no. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know if I'm supposed to curse on the radio. Yeah. No, you can say hell no. That's okay. I can hear I see. I, I can hear I see you right outside your door, Ray. Oh, damn. That hurt my ears. No. No. No, they, they, yeah, no you know? not no. at all. Not, not at all. all. I mean, all right. let's, I, for a second, I just say it the exact, exact same way I keep real on my show. Yeah, that's nope. right. That's why Ray is here, by the way, folks. Ray is as, as real as it gets. All right. You know, this, yeah, this is actually the longest he's probably probably spoken without um, using any cuss words. <laughs> but I, I think for, for the three of us, that might be the I same thing. Because, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ray, I wanted to ask so, a question, though. Um, uh-huh. the, the, the idea of why cannabis is a banned substance for everybody is that, okay, imagine this, right? WADA is mm-hmm. controlling all Olympic sports and other sports as well use the WADA list to control their uh, doping right? Um, regime. Correct. Imagine a skier coming down a hill at let's say about close to 100 miles per hour. It, it and, and let, it's about 100 miles it's per hour, not. Chris. Come on. A it's downhill a, it's skier? It's about 100 key. 100 key. All right. Let's say 100 kilometers per fast, hour. And that's still you. fast, right? Because you, you basically okay. have just a helmet. Uh, and I said, imagine he was high, high like a giraffe on a blimp. Mm-hmm. That ain't gonna mm-hmm. be safe, Ray. So we can't just say, you know what, go right ahead. But Ray, because they- you can't have selective doping policies. So some athletes can dope, other athletes can't dope. But listen, I, as much as I agree with that, t- my take on it, Ray, is that I think come huh? the next water code, the limit for uh-huh. marijuana is going to be so loose, I, uh, and I yeah. that I think even if you were high and running, it probably won't make a difference. I mean, I think they'll well, keep. Well, I, I think they'll keep cocaine and, and heroin here's, here's, and those things on the ban list. Here's my thing: when it comes to when we're only speaking about marijuana, okay. Mm-hmm, my yeah. th- my take on it is this right here: there's way too many health benefits to marijuana. To classify it as a as as, as a drug, drug as a narcotic. that will deter somebody's thinking. And the one thing I like to say is, we must respect athletes as professional athletes. Um, again, using what you what you were saying about a skier, if you if you're a professional skier, mm-hmm. it's a very slim chance that you're going to go out down the slopes high. It's very slim. Why? Because you may get high in your downtime. You may get high, you know, when you're at home, but you're not going to go down the slopes high. Let's just call it what it is. Well, this guy used Again, to be drunk, like though. Bodie, what's his name? He used to be drunk. But yeah, I'm just saying. Well, okay, it might, now, he might have that's been what fully I drunk. Get to. He might that's have what been I though. Get to, that right there. If anything, this, now, as far as this sounds, if anything, I think that there should be breath analyzer tests so that you can't be out drinking the night before or the night after a race because that is actually more detrimental to you. Than marijuana, yeah, but I they agree. will allow you to come to a track meet with dehydrated, knowing you was at the party with them with the agents the night before, and they will allow I'm drinking you to a lot drunk, of beer. No one is going to dehydrate you, and you go out the next day and you pull a muscle. Yeah. So, you know, it's like, well, let's just be honest. Let's just play honest. Honestly, marijuana is not going to make you pull a muscle. No, it doesn't. But if you are dehydrated from partying, it's a good chance you're going to get hurt from drinking. Uh, Ray, I want to ask, um, we saw the men's 100 trials at the U.S. Championships. We saw the mm-hmm. men's 100 trials in the Jamaican Championships. No clear favorites came out. Um, is the 100 wide open 
Is it? Is it? Is it? Or anybody? Anybody's game just, at this just point? Just on me. Ronnie Baker. Ronnie, Ronnie, Ronnie Baker. I'm asking. Ronnie, Ronnie Baker. <laughs> You know, I, you know I'm a Ronnie Gon' Bacon fan. Ronnie all right? Baker, Ronnie Baker. I, I, um, I agree with you. We're, we're but, 100% on that. But. I'm going I'm to keep it. I'm going to be honest with y'all. Even though, you know, uh, Akimi, he went 9-8 mm -hmm. the other day. His 9-8 was impressive. But the way I do, anytime I'm doing raise take, I'm looking at actual, your technique. I'm looking at how prepared you are. I'm looking at your race pattern, which is why I kept telling everybody, no, Elaine is still going to be effective. So when it comes to this men's hundred, the two people who have the, the most solid race patterns is Trayvon and Ronnie Baker, okay? Right. Now, those two, to me, have the most solid, perfect race patterns to where if they are in the race, they are going to be effective. Um... I don't see it being wide open. I see it being the same way I've called this in the Texas Relays. I've been saying the exact same people. Ronnie right? Baker and Trayvon, Trayvon Brown. That's, that, that's my call as well. I think um, maybe um, Simbini, maybe. Yep, Simbini, Simbini is, is a good third-place finisher. Fred could sneak up and be a good third-place finisher. But 1-2 one, is solid. 1-2 right? is solid. And that, that belongs to, those, to, to Trayvon. And running, that, that's that's it. You you got to give it to him. All right, all right, Ray. Hey, Ray, thanks a million, man. Yeah, you man. know, y'all could follow it. Ray sticks, R A E apostrophe S on uh, YouTube, and you can find Ray sticks, R A E S T A K E S on Twitter. And um, uh, you, you just uh, check me out on TT Game Plan, and you can see all the links on my post. Yeah. And Ray, we are streaming live on U ninety five seven. U97.5, I get wrong sometimes, on the Facebook page. So for all the fans out there, we are streaming live on U975 FM on the Facebook page. Look us up, Multicultural uh, Radio. All right, man. Thanks, Ray. Ray thanks Take a lot, care of yourself. And, and, no and, problem. Thank you guys for having me on. Yeah, man. Later, and, man. And listen to this song because it's a local song and you'll get the gist of it when we play it. You know what I mean? Don't, don't worry. Oh, man. Go, go ahead and play it, Jack. Go ahead and play it, <laughs> All right, we're going to play it, man. <laughs>